This is a work in progress. My name is Justin Jr. And in this series, we'll be learning sculptural acrylic painting techniques using Gaffrey Art Material paints and art supplies. This is my family. We started a paint company out of my father's paint studio turned paint factory. It was here where my father developed the first of its kind sculpting paint known as heavy texture. So why did he create this paint? Well, I'll let him explain. I started making this paint because no other art company could make the paint that worked best for me. So I had to make it myself. If Van Gogh were alive today, he would love this paint. Art is all about sharing. It wouldn't be fair to keep all of this delicious looking paint to ourselves. That's why we started a paint company in July 2020. We cut out the middleman and shipped them directly to you. You may have recognized us from our TikTok page where I have been behind the camera documenting my father paint in fun and interesting ways. And in this series, we'll be taking a deeper dive into some of these techniques. You may have also recognized my father's work along scenic highway 30A in Blue Mountain Beach, Florida, which happens to be my childhood home where we lived above the gallery, upstairs. One of the most common questions we get from guests is, what kind of paint is that? Well, it's just acrylic paint and nothing else. In the past, you would have to purchase a bunch of gels, paste, and mediums with an assortment of acrylic paints in order to achieve this effect. And while that's nice and all, it's kind of like baking bread. It's fun making it, but oftentimes it's not as good as a professional making it. Someone who's dedicated their life to perfecting the art of bread making. And we kind of do the same thing, where we deliver pigment rich texture every time, taking the guesswork out of how to make a sculpting paint. One of the first things you may notice when you walk in the gallery is how three dimensional the artwork is and it makes you want to reach out and touch it. Well, we might be one of the only galleries in the world where we encourage touching the paint, and that's pretty cool. Another question we get quite often is, how long does it take to dry? Well, the simple answer is just a couple days. And in fact, a lot of the paintings you're seeing now were just painted days before they were hung up on the gallery wall. What I admire most about my father is his reckless abandon to do whatever he wants without asking for permission. He's a self-taught artist and a self-taught chemist, and I am too. And while it seems kind of chaotic watching some of our videos and watching him paint, we actually take our standards very seriously here at Gaffrey Art Material. And when we make all of our paints, we follow strict protocols to make the most professional grade paint on the market. And we do that by using 100% acrylic emulsion, pure pigments, low VOC additives. So you may be asking yourself, what style of painting is this? Traditionally, it's known as impasto painting, where the paint lifts off the surface using brush strokes and palette knife marks to make the paint lift up. Since impasto artists use paint rather conservatively, we thought it'd be more appropriate to combine painting and sculpting. And while this may seem new, it's actually been made popular by artists like Van Gogh, Rembrandt, Monet, Dax and Pollock. Just kidding, that's just the floor of my dad's studio. Like a, a flat primer, you know, you could try that. Jackson Pollock. Just kidding, that's just his work table. Jackson Pollock. I had reservations about starting a tutorial series because the truth is I'm new to texture painting too. I come from a more traditional background painting flat. And while I know a lot about the paints, I don't work with them as much as someone like my dad. And I think I've just been overthinking it. Like my dad said, you're talking and working I'm over here in this area, working and talking. Let's just go download that into YouTube. Where will you take this medium next? The artists I mentioned before are dead. Art is alive and worshiping dead artists stunts cultural growth. I would much rather support the living ones. Throughout this series, I'll be learning how to sculpt with paint as well. But since we started this company, painting with texture has 
invigorated my art spirit, and I'm learning things I didn't even know I was capable of in just a short amount of time. We'll be getting some help from my father along the way. This is how you sculpt with paint. This is how you sculpt with paint. This is how you sculpt with paint. Let's bring this medium to the forefront of the art world. By learning together, my hope is you'll have the confidence to become a paint sculpting pro. The dirty secret to becoming an artist is not learning tricks, but a lot of practice and works in progress. One day you'll realize you had it inside of you all along. Nobody can teach you that. So place an order on our website, gaffreyart.com, so we can paint together next episode.